hey guys welcome back to another episode of my channel so today's video is all about my wash day my hair wash day routine so i'll be starting off with my mikala shampoo that's a cleansing and conditioning shampoo to cleanse my scalp and my hair and then next off i'll be going in with my mikala honey and butter conditioner to ensure that my hair is conditioned well and then lastly i'll be going in with my castor oil to ensure that my hair is well moisturized and sealed and of course i'll be using my a catastrophe bottle right here to ensure that I apply the oil nicely onto my hair, my hair strands. So yeah, I'll be using these three particular products um, in this video. So to start off guys, forgive me, I filmed this video at night so the quality and the lighting is not that awesome but I, I, I can work with it. So to start off, I'll be using my Mikala shampoo. And the reason why I like it is because it says that it's a cleansing and conditioning shampoo. So obviously if a shampoo says it conditions your hair, I mean, that's what you want, yeah? And right here, I'm just applying the shampoo onto my scalp, my dry scalp. I haven't sprayed any amount of water into my hair. And the reason why is because um, I want to ensure that I break off the dirt from my scalp, yeah? And I'm applying the shampoo onto my scalp as opposed to my hair strands because most of the time the dirt is on your scalp and not on your hair strands here and so right here i'm just using my fingertips and not my nails to you know scrub and you know remove the dirt from my scalp because if you use your nails you'll end up damaging your, your scalp and that's not what you want so that's what i'm doing here, right here massaging and ensuring that i have worked on every single part of my scalp most especially the parts where I normally itch. And I'm sure right here, someone may be wondering why I haven't pre pooed now. I haven't washed my hair for like almost a month now, and the product buildup is crazy. So sometimes I just weigh my options. If I feel like my hair is extremely, extremely dirty like right now, I don't pre poo I just use the dirt as a pre food if that makes sense. Yeah. And then um, since the shampoo also says that it doesn't strip off. Um, it doesn't strip off natural oils from my hair that's what also what i like and then i am washing my hair in mini twist because i am avoiding knots and tangles that like to tangles and knots will just end make your hair break in the long run and that's not what you want also and then right here i'm using i'm just um rinsing off the shampoo from my hair and what you want to do is use hot water as opposed to cold water just because hot water will open up your cuticles and ensure that the dirt comes off from your hair yeah so you want to use hot water to open your cuticles and ensure that the dirt comes off and then once i'm done i just bring off the excess water from my hair like so yeah and also once i'm done normally i have um some strands are already unraveling so right here i'm just twisting back the hair before i go on to the next step yeah and then lastly before i got on to my conditioning i use a t-shirt to wring off excess water as well i don't use a towel just because towel is on this texture that will end up tangling with my hair and then my hair will end up breaking so i just use a normal t-shirt a cotton t-shirt to wring off excess water like so yes and also once i'm done i use the t-shirt to tie a, a what's it called what's it called a turban yeah before i go on to condition my hair so right here i'm just tying a turban using my t-shirt to ensure that the excess excess water comes off from my hair yeah and then the next step is to use my mikala um honey and butter conditioner now i like it because it says that it has honey and butter that sounds so yummy <laughs> and then i love the mikala conditioner because my hair loves it first of all and then second of all it says that it totally restores rejuvenates and improves hair texture and body and it also says that it has natural honey vitamin e. it has natural honey vitamin e and b5 and shea butter so that's amazing it has amazing products and of course the first ingredient in this conditioner is aqua which is water and you want to work with shampoo that has water so right here i'm just separating my hair into two sections 
that it makes my work easy because I want to ensure that every single strand of my hair or every single mini twist is coated with a generous amount of the Mikala conditioner. So right here I'm just working on the on my hair on one section and I ensure that I apply a good amount of conditioner onto my ends because your ends need the conditioner more than the rest of your hair because that's the weakest part, the oldest part of your hair and that's where breaking like breakage starts off from and we don't want that so ensure that every single time you're applying any amount or any amount of what product on your hair that you always concentrate on your ends because your because your ends are the oldest part and if you they are dry if they are not conditioned well then end up breaking and that's not what you want yeah so i'm applying a good amount of conditioner onto my hair nothing on my ends like so and then once I'm done with that section, I'll definitely go and work on the other section. So I'm just separating my hair to ensure that I apply a good amount of conditioner on both sides of my hair. And so right here I'm just working on the second part. And if you guys can notice, my conditioner is almost over. I need a conditioner is okay. Yeah, so I definitely need to go and get another bottle of my color conditioner. Yeah, and of course, like I said, I rinsed off my hair using hot water. So my cuticles are open and they are ready to absorb the conditioner. Which is a good thing. So always rinse off your hair with hot water once you're done with the shampoo. Yeah, and then right here I'm just applying another, you know, coat of conditioner, like so. So Mikala for me, it's not like a tinini, it's just that Mikala honestly is affordable, uh, readily available, and it's affordable. Like, I think this one I'm using is for one five, 500 ml, and it, I think it goes 150 shillings, so I'm not wrong. So right here I'm tying my hair into a caban. And then again, applying one more coat of conditioner onto my ends, as you guys are going to see in a second. Yeah, so for me, like the ends are so serious. Like the ends are like, you know, we want to retain length. So obviously the ends are like the in thing. So ensure that your con your ends are coated well. And then I use my cap paper bag, like you guys saw in my previous video. I'm using my paper bag to generate heat onto my hair to ensure that my cuticles are open and then I use a scarf again just one another layer of heat yeah so the, the more the layers the more the heat of course so I'm going to try my scarf like so and then I think I'm gonna have this conditioner in for like one hour yeah one hour and then after one hour I'm going to come back and rinse off the conditioner so the thing with this conditioner it says that you can ha like you're supposed to apply it and then rinse it off afterwards like was you kind of like for one hour or 30 minutes or whatever but for me this is just what i do and it works fine for my hair so after one hour i'm going to come back and then rinse off and then show you my last step yeah so it's one hour later i'm back and so right now i'm just moving my scarf like so and I actually added one more scarf just to generate more heat. So the more the layers of scarf, the more heat um, my head is going to generate. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so I'm removing the hairband that I put previously, like so. And so at this particular moment, what I want to do is wash my hair in cold water. And because right now, um, my cuticles are open and they have already absorbed the good content that the conditioner had and because i want the content to remain inside my hair cuticles i have to wash my hair with cold water so that you know the cuticles get closed and then yeah that's it so right here i'm just goofing off because i want to wash my hair with cold water and i hate this stage i honestly hate this stage but i have no choice so yeah i'm rinsing off the conditioner with cold water and let me be honest with you guys normally I wouldn't do this like normally I wouldn't wash my hair under a shower just because there's no way I'm going to get my hair like my body wet just because I'm trying to wash my hair usually I try get a tap that's way lower than me and then bend over and then wash my hair or sometimes I'd use a bucket 
yes because going under a shower it's just a hassle like honestly getting wet just because i'm trying to wash my hair even if i love natural hair honestly i wouldn't do so so i'm just doing this because you know for the sake of the video actually yeah so i wouldn't normally do this i'd look for a sink or a tap or a bucket and then wash my hair from that yeah so why you barely you go up only god knows yeah so i'm just rinsing off the conditioner and then <laughs> once i'm done normally my 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 twists have already unraveled most of okay, a couple of them so i just twist them back so if you're washing your hair in twists and then they unravel or switch okay just go back and twist them because you take tangles and knots your go hair is going to tangle up and then breakage like it's another hassle in doing that so switch okay just go back twist them back and then go ahead and do your next step yeah so like i said washing your hair in twist just makes your hair so much better like no tangles no knots and i thank god yeah So once I'm done with this step, I'm going to take a t-shirt, a cotton t-shirt like I did previously and I would want to wring excess water off from my hair after I'm done with the stage, with this uh, step. And I want to use a cotton t-shirt because, and not a towel, because towel is going to have this rough uh, texture and then it's going to tangle up with your hair and then it end up breaking again. It's just a hassle again. So using a cotton t-shirt just makes life so much easier. Just to wring off the excess water. Yeah. And I ensure that I do that in every section of my hair. And then once I'm done, I have this aka cotton cut top or t-shirt or shirt or whatever. So I use that to tie a, a cataban on my head. We call a turban, yes, a turban just to again get excess water from my head because I can be around with dripping water, um, with the water dripping from my hair. That's just oh god, I'm done with cold water, I'm done with water, I'm done with this stuff. So, obviously, this would help me wring off excess water from my hair, yeah. So, I'm just tying up the turban like so. Oh, so back to better lighting warmer clothes less water yeah better footage so this is the end result after i've shampooed and conditioned my hair like you guys can see a number of twists from my hair have unraveled so obviously i'm just trying to you know twist them back and then at this moment i feel like the cotton shirt had already absorbed excess like extremely excess water from my hair and I feel like it's dry so that's why I'm using my spray bottle to spray some water to my hair just to make it more you know to feel like it's a little bit more moisturized and then once I'm done I'm going to take um, my castor oil because I told you guys I have high porosity hair and obviously other oils just get absorbed into my hair that's not, that's not what I want so I want something thick and heavy that's going to just stay on the shaft I'm on the surface of my hair so that's what castor oil does for my hair so once my hair is moisturized I apply the castor oil to seal in the moisture and obviously I always concentrate on my ends because the ends like I said are the oldest parts of your hair it will take it dry up if it dries up it's gonna break and we're trying to retain length this year so yeah always concentrate on the ends the oldest parts of your hair so right now I'm just working in the castor oil like so and I like castor oil because it's also known for thickening your hair so yeah it's amazing it's nice and right here that's why people get to do their LOC method LCO method LOCO method and they get to do to use their what's it called their leave-in conditioner for me I don't use a lot of products because I'm avoiding products to be less like I said like I said I'm um, oil stays on my hair shaft and Nikki adds so much product it's going to be something else so if that's what you use, well and good for me. I don't feel like leaving conditioners play a big role on my hair. So long as the mesh moisturizes with water, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so I just use water and cast oil afterwards to moisturize my hair after I've washed and conditioned my hair. And right here I'm just working on my edges. I'm applying water, I'm spraying water on my edges and then applying the castor oil. 
you know, na naturally I have light, like my edges, the hair at, on my edges are light, so they need extra attention. So normally I just spray water and then apply the castor oil as well to ensure that they stay moisturized, healthy, and hopefully thicker if the castor oil would help me do that. Because like I said, naturally I have thin edges at the front. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do right here. So pretty much that's, that's it. Like I don't do much during my wash day, my wash days because apart from where the part where I'm meant to, you know, apply conditioner and then sit with it for like one hour, so when people say at okay, my wash day it takes like three hours or the whole day I'm just like okay, for me just that like after washing shampooing conditioning and moisturizing that's it like Nikienda sana maybe two hours 30 minutes shampooing 30 minutes moisture okay I but that's it like I don't do much Nikienda sana two hours and that's it like I can honestly have my wash day and still go out and run my errands so yeah pretty much that's it i hope this video was helpful i hope it was interesting and don't forget to give it a thumbs up um comment down below and tell me guys how long did your wash days take because for me they need a lot of summer long so yeah comment down below let me know let me know <laughs> anything and everything don't forget to subscribe and yeah up until the next video bye bye